I am Ravina Rajproy from Sayyid PD Mahila College, Veer Narmad, South Gujarat University. My question to you is, sir, do we possess the requisite to shape the strategic choices of South countries? Are we not better placed than China, at least in the subcontinent? I would like to go for a second question also together. Sir, uh, sir is writing the questions, so sir is going to take two or three questions together. Yes, Piche, Piche. Yes. According to the history of our bilateral relation with China, my question is, uh, in concern of border security, internal security and food general Fourth generation warfare, what are your views and how you treat China? Great. So the third question, third question. Yes, yes, here, here, here itself. Focus on this person. Hello, sir, yes. my name is Divyang Vaishnav and I am from Ems Jodhpur. Uh, sir, uh, first of all, warm welcome to the city of diamonds. Uh, sir, as we know, we are the large uh, fifth economy in the world. Uh, and we have, sir, many good traditions and trade deals with other countries. So, sir, my question is, uh, in future, how will government planning to balance between the first goal of our Atmanibar Bharat and at, at the same time, our good trade relation with the other countries? Thank you, sir. Okay, one more. Fourth, yes, backside. Thank you. Uh, I'm Razia Muradi, PhD scholar from Afghanistan. First of all, I'm so thankful for the Indian people and Indian government for the <laughs> for the constant support with Afghanistan. Particularly, we appreciate the initiative and support that the Indian government had with the Afghan Sikh and Hindu. Uh, I have three questions that shortly I will uh, uh, ask. First question is that now what will be your further action for the other ethnic minority, uh, specifically Hazara community in Afghanistan who are uh, suffering from the discrimination and violence in Afghanistan. Secondly, how does the current situation of Afghanistan affect the India and what will be the strategic plan of India while dealing with the Taliban and the new regime in Afghanistan? My third question is, what is the humanitarian plan of India to protect people at risk, specifically students, scholars, women, human rights defenders and refugees? Thank you. This is, this is, this is yeah. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, my, what I will do, एक किस्म से जो पहला प्रश्न और दूसरा जो था, उसमें एक ओवरलैप था. तो मैं आपको ये समझाता हूँ. You asked what is the strategic approach? How do we influence our countries? And the other question was, how will you deal with China? Now, the rise of China is the biggest uh, happening. Uh, in the in the last, uh, I would say, 25, 30 years uh, in the world. We are the neighbors of China. Hum China ke pados mein hai. It is not possible that we are not deeply and directly impacted by the rise of such a, such a major power. It will happen. Now, we cannot take the view that, you know, they will adjust, that they will adjust to us. They will rise. We have to, it's competitive. Politics is competitive. World politics is even more competitive. We have to find ways today, how do we compete uh, with other countries? How do we protect our interests? Dekhye, dunia jo hai, kisi ke liye kuch nahi karte. Hame apna karna hava. Atma nirvar bharat jo hai, ye radniti mein bhi. Kootniti mein bhi. To, we are today trying to see how can we achieve greater strength. Uh, we cannot, sometimes I read 
that India is a great services power. Yes, services is very good. But you cannot have only services. A country which doesn't have manufacturing is a country which doesn't have bones in the body. Uh, you cannot manufacture everything. But we do not want, you know, which one of us wants a situation that we are the market for other other factories and other manufacturing. I mean, you, you are from a, uh, in a state which has a very strong history of industrial production and manufacturing. Do we want to uh, to see that everything which we in our daily lives is imported from China, which we can make ourselves? Nobody wants that. So, we today have to work with our neighbors and that is why the first step which Narendra Modi took in foreign policy was to call all our neighbors at the Shapat Grahan Mejo Kya Tha Unane, And since then, you will see whether it was COVID, whether it was Nepal earthquake, uh, whether Sri Lanka. I mean, Sri Lanka is going through a very difficult situation. One country which is helping Sri Lanka without any strengths is India. So, I can tell you, you know, our neighbors are comfortable with us. Uh, we, 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 we all share so many, uh, so much, uh, you know, culture, language, religion, uh, uh, all of us play cricket. It's a, it's a, it's a very big uh, commonality. Uh, but we also must understand neighbors will look to see where they can get advantage. If they feel there is some other country which will do something, they will of course try. We have to compete. And I can tell you one thing. You know, this country has the ability. When I look, I mean, one of the reasons I like meeting young people, going to universities, going to school. I see the energy, I see the the confidence in young people. And I see in last eight years what vision and leadership can give to this country. That we are capable of many, many things. It is just we have to believe that we are capable of it and we need to have a leadership which will set the targets, which will create the policies, uh, which will encourage people to to express their talent. So it could be, as I said, uh, you know, today, I, perhaps more than any other Indian, I know what, I hear what the world says about India. The world looks at our handling of COVID. The world sees how in the middle of, uh, you know, this Ukraine conflict, we have stood up for the interests of our people. The world sees the changes in India, the digital changes, the smart city changes, the economic changes. People see innovation. So our our image is changing, our capability is changing. We need to believe in ourselves. And if we do that, I can tell you, actually we are capable of competing with everybody. That question, how do you reconcile Atma Nirbhar Bharat and foreign commitments? You know, last year, was our biggest year in exports. Now I am saying it in Surat where you are exporting diamonds and textiles. It is our biggest year, not not going back to pre-COVID, ever in our exports. And we are today, we have the capacity to compete with people in different sectors. Now, we should deal with the world because no country can make everything. You know, the policy which was there earlier, that, you know, in, import substitution, kare, bhaar se kuch nahi lai, that is not a reasonable policy uh, anymore. You know, we are very, we are pharmacy of the world, but we have to import APIs from some countries. So, there is a global supply chain. We are big diamond exporters, but we are also importers of raw diamonds. So, Today's globalized economy, it is not that you make They are part of the same thing. What we have to decide is, uh, are we only the market or are we the producer? I think we are the producer. I think we have the capability of becoming a big economic player. 
we should not be the fifth largest economy without the employment of fifth largest economy. That's why when I gave you that example of what Uday Kotak uh, was uh, talking about, for me, it is not economy should be big. You can get 9% growth rate, but with very uh, not reflected in actually the employment of that uh, activity. So we need today employment centric economic growth. We need manufacturing in this country. We need innovation in this country. We, our talent in services in the digital world has to be uh, promoted in different ways. And then I think we should actually become a very major global economic player. I think that is, that is the kind of vision which the Prime Minister has and which I think the young people, the coming generation will be able to uh, fulfill. Finally, the question uh, which uh, uh, our friend from Afghanistan asked, you know, some very, very tragic things are happening in Afghanistan. Uh, you spoke about uh, the Hazara community very, very recently. Maybe some of you may not know, you know, there was an attack on a school uh, and a lot of young children were killed uh, in a school which was uh, uh, many of them from that uh, community. Look, India cannot determine what is happening in Afghanistan. Afghans have to determine what is happening in Afghanistan. What India can do is in a difficult time give help to the people. We are doing to the people. We are not giving it, uh, you know, it's not a political step. It is not something which is done government to 